Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some exciting stuff to share with you. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you may have noticed that I do a lot of hauling and not a lot of sharing of the things I make with the things I'm hauling. <laughs> That's because for a very long time, I just, for one reason or another, one the words, one reason or another, I just wasn't crafting. But that has changed. And I have made a plethora of items. Now this is probably going to be a pretty long video. Uh, so you know, do with that what you will. But I have some fun stuff to share with you. So I, I decided to do what all the big crafty YouTubers do and just play with one collection at a time. Usually that's not what I do. Um, but I decided I had a whole bunch of the Buenos Dias uh, collection. I think the artist is Obed Marshall, I want to say, but I'm not certain. Um, and so this is what I made with the majority of the stuff that I had from that collection. I made a lot of stuff and I actually didn't finish all of the stuff f that I had from that collection. I still have um, part of maybe like half of a chipboard, like 12 by 12 chipboard. I still have some uh, die cuts and some of the, the pieces that I hand cut from the papers that I bought, the 12 by 12 papers. And then I have most of a 6 by 12 sticker sheet thing. But I did use a lot of stuff. Anyway. I'm just gonna get into showing you what I made. So I made a bunch of these. Uh, a lot of what I made is a lot of like very similar stuff because I was just trying to like bang it out and I was just like in the zone. Um, but I made a lot of these um, like stuffed, um, what would you call them? File folders, oh my gosh. My brain is blinking. So I made a bunch of these file folders and I think they're super duper cute. And a ladybug literally just fell off. You see the little ladybug? So, side note, um, this spring, uh, ladybugs decided to, is it angry? Like what's it doing? <laughs> Ladybugs, what, it, I don't know what, I don't know what it's doing. I'm trying to figure out where it is, maybe. Um, let's just, no, here, you, you gotta go down, go, just go on my table. I don't care if you crawl around, you're cute. Um, I just don't want to smush you. Uh, ladybugs decided that they were going to, um, put all of their eggs on our back, like we have, a, there's like a ramp thing outside, right outside my office door. And all of the bugs in the world decided to lay their eggs there. <laughs> and one of those was ladybugs. Oh, they're just sleeping now, it's so cute. Um, one of those bugs was ladybugs. And so we had a ton, a ton of ladybugs hatching all outside this door. And one of them decided, so, if you don't know, because I didn't know this until like my eight year old son told me this, <laughs> ladybugs start out, um, once they hatch from the eggs, they're in the larva stage and they're these like spiky looking black and red little, they almost look like little teeny caterpillars, but they're spiky. And those are larva, the larva stage of um, these little critters. And then they kind of act like butterflies. So they like find something to attach to. Usually it's like trees or leaves or something, but they find something to attach to and they stay there for like two weeks until they like turn into ladybugs. And one of them decided to attach themselves to the inside of my office door and he just hatched. So cute. So I think he's probably just gonna hang out there for a little bit. Um, anyway, so there is this one and then on the inside they have some um like journaling cards that I've sewn journaling cards and tags and stuff that I've sewn on around the outside 
and those are just oh, I don't want to squish them those are just attached on with a little binder clip and then inside here I have sewn on a um an acetate pocket with the acetate from the collection and then I just shoved a few little embellishments that I made in here there Those are in there and I am going to be going through I, w I was going I was contemplating whether or not I should show you all of the items that I made before I packaged them up but I just they, they were everywhere everywhere and I just needed to for my sanity um, package them up so uh, there's that one actually look before I go through the rest of the stuff I have over here I'm gonna show you the stuff I have over here that's not in like file folders or stuffed envelopes I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I have over here because it's just gonna fall if I don't so I have this journaling card embellishment and this one and I actually used a lot of the um the wax seals that I made in a past video I used a bunch of them on the embellishments that I made and I think it turned out really cute and I made these two embellishments and then I have I created like a little bag topper on there and I'm using my um my cute little erasers most of the stuff that I used in these embellishments are from this collection, but obviously some of them aren't. Like, the erasers obviously aren't from this collection. Little pom-poms aren't. The enamel dots, they're not. But it's fine. I made these, and I decided to package them up together because it looks really cute. And then, oh, that is <laughs> the ladybug is on there now. I'm going to put this one up here so that the ladybug can chill on it and I don't squish it. Um, I made a bunch of these. These were the first uh, embellishment I made with these this collection. And I think they turned out so stinking cute. I don't even know if you'll be able to tell on camera. There's like a backing of, it's going to look super messy from the back, but I put the... I made like a little, like I sewed some of the acetate into a little ruching thing and I put that in the back and it looks really cool. Maybe it'll look, maybe you'll be able to see better if I take it out of the cellophane. No, that was pretty in there. Let me get a different one. And then I just put like little toppers on them. Let's see if I can get this one out more easily. No, no, because that's, okay. Well, I made this one. <laughs> And the packaging that I used, it was reused packaging. So it had a sticker on here um, that I couldn't get off for the life of me. So I just like put an embellishment over it. I just put a little thing on it. So it's fine. <laughs> There's that one. And then, uh, no, I'll do it on that one because that one will come out more easily. I made the little topper here. There's a cute little kitty eraser. And then there is that embellishment. And then I have this one. Let's see. I love how this came out. So there's a couple of them that I put um, like the clear um wax seals on and then you can see the um the acetate in the back there i just think they're so stinking cute <sighs> i could have just gone on making these for like days and days and days but that would have been a little crazy i could have like used the entire collection just to make these but you know that has some variety and then i did make some bag toppers and this is actually one of the ones i made and then i just stuck it on here And uh, I have this. Again, has another wax seal in it. I have this where I reused the packaging for the, the die cuts that came with the collection. So 
no circle embellishment in there. And then I have three smaller embellishments in there. I'm trying to avoid the glare as much as possible. And then I just did a little topper. Then I have this. I'm obsessed with these little bikes. I'm gonna go buy like five more packages of them because I think I used up all of the ones I had and they're just so stinking cute. Uh, I'm obsessed, I need more. And then this is one of those packages where like it actually opens at the top so the paper that it came with, I just took that out and um, slipped this little decorated piece of paper in there. those out of the way now okay and then here is another um, file folder and then the die cuts I'm not I'm not gonna take out all the die cuts because it's literally gonna take me forever to do this video if I do but uh, I'll show you some just go like this to show you some of the embellishments that I made I think they came out super duper cute. So what I plan on doing with all these embellishments that I made is I'm going to send some of them as Happy Meal to um, some of my family, like my mom and my aunt. They both are uh, super into scrapbooking so that so they can get use out of a lot of these embellishments that I made. I'll keep some for myself. And then I'm thinking of uh, making some like Happy Meal um, mystery boxes and putting just a few of these items in there and selling them. Um, so if you're interested in that, just definitely let me know. Um, if you are, if not, I can figure something else out to do with these, but yeah, let me know. So there's another one. And then, uh, these ones, um, have this like lace tape stuff that I put on here um because I was just trying to use it up I did use it a lot through the rest of the embellishments and stuff but I had a little bit left so I just used them on here have another one of these like I didn't want them to just be like a square so I turned it sideways so it's more like a diamond kind of here and then there's a little tag in there and then that one in there. Let's see, here's this one. No, the Y, it has betrayed me. I'm gonna have to probably use a different glue on there for that. It popped right back on, but. Um, there are the thingy-majigs, <laughs> and there's just a little simple embellishment there, and then there's those. Super cute. Sorry if you guys hear the train noises. <laughs> it's that one the card things. I'm like losing track of words right now. Sorry. Another one of those like simple embellishments. And then there's those two. Hopefully you guys can see them through the glare. Um, I just, it's gonna take so long for me to take them out of the packaging and everything. But I think you can get the gist. I need so many of these. Oh my goodness. Hey, if you saw the community post that I made, I said I went hard. You can see I was not exaggerating. Is that one? I think I made six um, file folders. Just those. And then there, there are the embellishments. that one Let's 
a little bit. Okay. I have some more stuff that is not in like a stuffed envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that first so I can get them out of the way. So I did these kind of like I had I was saving a whole bunch of like packaging from things um, so that I could reuse them to pack it re reuse them to package embellishments. Oh my goodness. Uh, so that's what I did. So these are just like cute little single embellishments packed in these like reused packaging and I just put um, some trim around the edges to kind of make it a little bit prettier. And then all you need to do if you, you know, if you get this and then you want to like get it to the embellishment, just rip the paper off. It's just plain white cardstock, so it's not like you're, you know, destroying anything beautiful. <laughs> but there's that one. Yeah. Okay, it's not cooperating. How rude. Um, I ran out of pattern paper. That's <laughs> why I used white in the background there. But I used pattern paper in the background of this one. I didn't even realize it's actually the same pattern paper as the like little banner thing, which is funny, but it's fine. So there is that one. And I've got a few more of those. I kind of like that they just kind of like wiggle around in there. Uh, this one's a tag. And I have, oh, there's one more. This one. Super cute. And let's see, I have this one, which is like a thicker plastic. And um, I put a whole bunch of the small little like scallop circle embellishments that I made in here. And then I made like a little like faux bag topper thing. I just decorated the top. Um, I think it's super cute. So this is actually an eraser that I got in like a pack of like fashion erasers from Five Below. And I think it looks so cute there. And then I used some yellow pom-pom trim around the edge. I love, this is probably my favorite like packaging out of all the ones that I, I did. I just think it's so stinking cute. Oh, I love it. And then I have this one, which just has a couple embellishments in it and a little faux bag topper and these um some of them are staple most of them are stapled on some of them I think I glued on but like it's hot glue on plastic so it'll come off pretty easily if you try um but you could definitely like save these and use them for something you know you could use these as embellishments too so it's really a three in one so that's exciting now I'm gonna go through all of the loaded envelopes that I have I have a lot of mini ones and then I have two large ones. I think I'll do the two large ones last. Um, so I'm going to start with the mini ones. So and there's like hot glue and string everywhere. It's great. So I have this one right here and then I've got this little embellishment, this like three pack of embellishments and then this like larger one I really love this one and then I put like a mesh it's like a mesh sticker thing that I put on there it's this it's like a roll of like sticky mesh and I have had it sitting around for a long time so I just figured you know I'm just gonna use it here and it's gonna be perfect and it is <laughs> so there is that one I don't even know how many um envelopes I have I never counted them I just know I have a lot <laughs> Um, and here is this one. And then I made a bunch of these like pencil flag things. These are so fun to make. I'm really happy with how these turned out. There's that. one. There's 
this one. I had a lot of fun using up like little bits and pieces of things that have just been sitting around for a really long time like these flowers and a whole pack of these um, these just white paper flowers and they've just been sitting there doing nothing and they look really cute with um, this collection I mean they're just they're just white flowers but I feel like they worked out really well so oh. stuck. got stuck there's the small embellishment, the pencil flag thingy. And this is my first time making any of this type of stuff. <laughs> um, and I kind of just like blacked out and made so much. <laughs> there's one of those, has another one of those cute little bikes on it. I need to go get more of those. I think I got those at Walmart in the like, um, sewing section where all the buttons and everything are I need to go get more because they're so freaking cute so there's that one I'm just gonna start putting them over here here is this envelope and there is that pencil I don't even know what to call those the small embellishment and then the larger one it's like a Polaroid frame but it has another one of those bikes that I'm so obsessed with Ugh, I just can't I can't I need more of the bikes So the pencil wanted to come out of that one, but there is the front and there's the little pencil flag. Small embellishment and the larger embellishment. Here we go. Super cute. I mean, you know, that's all I have to say. It's okay because it is really super cute. <laughs> Here's this one. I also really enjoyed the like resin pieces from the collection. I thought that was really different and I liked it a lot. So there's another one of those. Cute embellishment and there's this one and then I have some um, mini envelopes like this that are decorated but they're not um, stuffed with anything so I'll go ahead and show you those and the cool thing about these is you could definitely reuse them um, I'm not gonna like fold it now just in case this isn't one of the ones that I give to my family or keep but you can definitely fold it and um, you wouldn't really be able to like obviously you can't like tape it shut or anything but you could tie like a ribbon around it and that would be really cute and you could use this as a gift card holder and give it to somebody as a gift I think that would be really cute and I think I probably will end up doing that myself so there's that one one of those bikes like are those not like the cutest little things <laughs> so cute oh I have another uh, embellishment over here that I guess got hidden so there is that one and of course it has another bike I was only planning on using a few of the bikes that I had but I used all of them because I couldn't help it I was just obsessed <laughs> so now I'm gonna share the two a uh, large loaded pockets that I made or envelopes are not really pockets loaded envelopes I did make these envelopes out of vellum they're like a pearlized vellum they're supposed to be silver but they're like more pearly in my opinion but that is what that looks like and then I'll go ahead and show the embellishments in here There's that one that 
got one. Another little pencil flaggy thing. I think these would look really cute just like to stick in a pencil holder, like with all your pens and stuff. You don't even have to necessarily like sharpen it and use it, but I mean, you could if you wanted, I guess, but. And this actually, since I had run out of paper um, from the collection and I actually didn't have any more white cardstock near me and I was lazy, I actually used the front packaging from the six by eight paper pad. Um, and I, I think that looks fine, it's kind of cute. There's that. And then another one of those, um, I don't even know what to call these, banners, I guess? And then another one of the um, bag toppers that I made that I put on top of here. And then on these ones, on the inside, I used the pink mesh, just on the inside part. So there is the first one. I think it looks so cool with all the stuff poking out of it. I love it. And then there is this one. And then I used the pom-pom trim around the edge of this um, journaling card. I think it looks really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's in here. There's Polaroid another pencil flag thingy, another mini one, another Polaroid. Here's the third bag topper that I made. It just ended up packaging it up instead of using it. And then, whoops, another one of those little um, packs of three of the banners. The, these are like mini banners. They're smaller than the big ones. And then there's a big banner in here. And then there's the little bag topper. It's got a cute little puppy on it. And again, this one has the pink mesh on the inside. I am so happy with how all of this came out. I'm, like I said, this is my first time making embellishments in this way. So it was really fun. It was really fun. It was honestly like addictive and I just, I, I love how it turned out. I'm so happy with it. But um, I will probably end up doing a separate video um, depending on the responses that I get. If you guys are interested in purchasing any like small uh, mystery bundles of some of these items, I don't know exactly how many I would have to sell, but if you're interested in something like that, let me know. Um, I also am not sure what the pricing would be. If you're interested in buying this stuff and you have like a price in mind, then I can kind of let me know in the comments and I can kind of figure out like how many items would end up being in the boxes based on that. So I don't know, just let me know if you're interested. And then I would, if you are, if you guys are interested, then I'll do a separate video on like how many I have and um, how much they would cost and everything. But that is it, I'm so excited. <laughs> to finally have something to share with you guys like something that I made I crafted I actually used the things that I hauled I am like currently I'm in a mad dash to use up a lot of my supplies first of all I just have too much and you guys already know I'm on a crafty low buy like extreme crafty low buy so I really need to use up a lot of stuff I did use up a lot of stuff making these but on top of that, there's a a possibility I'll be moving in the next few months again, which is ugh, like crazy. But uh, in the case that I do, I'm going to need to have <laughs> a lot less stuff than I do now because paper is really heavy and you, 
yeah. So I will be making more very soon and I will be sharing those with you when they are done. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.